The trial began April 11th in Fairfax County, Virginia, outside Washington, D.C., and is broadcasted live. Deb 58 is suing her at 36 for $50 million, alleging she defamed him in an opinion column that she published in the Washington Post, which is printed in Fairfax County. In December 2018, in the column, she claimed to be a victim of domestic abuse. Last week, defense attorneys cross-examined Deb following two days of testimony from the actor and included his reiteration that he never physically abused her. In addition to that, for those of you who are wondering why the lawsuit is held in Virginia and not in California, Mr. Baker said is it is probably linked to something called an anti-slap law, which stands for Strategic Lawsuits Against Public Participation Law. These state statutes are essentially extensions of the First Amendment, giving added protection to speech and other activities that relate to matters of public interest. Both Virginia and California have their own versions of anti-slap laws, but California's are stronger. Their defendants like Heard are able to invoke the protection immediately. Virginia, by contrast, does not allow defendants to use this protection in the early phases of legal proceedings. The first witness to take the stand for Johnny Depp was his older sister, Chrissy Dombrowski, who also worked as Depp's longtime personal manager. She spent most of the day on the stand. Her testimony held up frequently by objection from Heard's attorneys in the grounds of hearsay and other issues, a judge had to rule on whether to admit. Dombrowski said she and her brother grew up with an unstable, occasionally abusive mother who frequently fought with her father. She said her brother's reaction as a child was to run and hide during these episodes. Later, she said, when Depp and her traveled, she usually booked an extra hotel room for him to retreat to in case of fights with her. She testified that she never saw Depp mistreat or raise his voice in anger to his own children or mother of his children, longtime partner Vanessa Paradis. She said that she did witness her treat Deb with contempt multiple times. Have you witnessed any occasions on which Ms. Heard wasn't nice to your brother? I, I have, actually. One incident that stayed with her, she said, was after she met with Dior about working with Deb. Heard's reaction was disbelief and disgust. She said, quote unquote, why would Dior want to do business with you? They're about class and style. You don't have style. One occasion, um, we were, I was at the office and I'd had a meeting um, with Dior who had wanted to uh, sit with Johnny and um, talk about, you know, working together. And Amber had come in and asked if she was interrupting us and uh, we said no and we weren't supposed to really talk about the meeting with anyone. Um, but Johnny, Johnny told Amber that uh, I had just had a meeting with Dior and that, you know, they were interested in him. Um, her, her reaction to that was she was in disbelief and sort of disgust um, because she said, Dior, why, why would Dior want to do business with you? They're about class and they're about style and you don't have style. You know, so it was a the insulting kind of taking away that one moment you know, that insult is there. You know, I've, 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 seen, I've seen the insults uh, m multiple times, actually. What, if anything, did you hear Ms. Hurd say about Mr. Depp's physical appearance? She called him an old fat man. I've seen insults multiple times, she said. Depp wanted a prenuptial agreement to protect his kids and Heard refused to sign. She said she was upset that Heard and Depp were fighting on the day after their mother died and that Heard filed for divorce soon after. At one point she testified she told her she was worried about the couple's fights. She said I needed to get off my cross and stay out of her marriage, Dombrowski said. I kept saying this kind of fighting is not normal. On initial cross-examination, Roddenborn tried to establish that she, as a sister and employee of Depp, is naturally biased. 
Dombrowski tried to push back against questions about texts she sent Depp in 2014, which Roddenberg asserted involved her telling him to stop drinking, taking cocaine, and pills. He pressed her to admit she was worried about his behavior. She could not remember the context of those texts. On trial day two, Isaac Baruch, a longtime friend and next door neighbor of Depp, testified April 13th that her had told him that the movie star threw a phone at her and hit her inside the couple's Los Angeles penthouse. But Baruch said he never noticed any evidence of abuse on Hurd's face. Did you notice any marks on her face when you were speaking with her? No. Did you see any bruises? No. Did you see any redness? No. Did you notice any swelling? No. Did it look like Ms. Hurd was wearing any makeup? No. Had you seen her wearing makeup before? Yeah. And you had seen her not wearing makeup before? Yeah, I've seen, like I said, with fate doing with the face mask, doing a face mask, no makeup, hanging around, the, uh, waking up in the morning, uh, no uh, uh, with makeup, glammed out to go out. And it's, it's three and a half years of seeing her in different uh, different forms. Both when he first saw her in the hallway or the next day in the sunlit lobby of their art deco style building. She's got her face out like this to show me and I'm looking and I said inspect her face said Baruch and I don't see anything. I don't see a cut, a bruise, swelling or redness. And as I'm walking back I'm, I say to Amber as I'm walking up he hit you and she goes yeah, he threw a phone at me and hit me. And I'm looking, because I had just seen her two feet away, and I'm going, where? And she puts her head out. She puts her face out like that for me to look at her, the right side of her face. And I'm looking, but at that point also, I'm looking, and I turn, I turn around, get on the other side. We're in the doorway. So I'm on this side with the light shining this way from the doorway with the lights above and but the sunshine. And she's got her face out like this, looking, you know, to show me. And I'm looking and I go, I inspect the face. I'm looking at her forehead. I'm looking at the side of a, a side of her eye. I'm looking at her cheek. I'm looking at the, her chin. I'm looking at the other side of the face. I'm looking at the whole thing. And I don't see anything. I don't see anything to, to I don't see a, a cut, a bruise, swelling, redness. It's just Amber's face that she's going like this and showing me. Baruch, a painter and second witness to testify following Johnny Depp's older sister, Christy Dombrowski, has been friends with Depp since 1980. He also worked at the Viper Room when the Pirates of the Caribbean actor partly owned the famed Los Angeles club. Baruch said Depp had financially supported him, providing him with places to live, and giving him about 100000 over the years. Baruch testified that he noticed no makeup on her face when she said Depp hit her. But during cross-examination, Baruch conceded that he didn't know if Heard, who worked with the cosmetics giant El L'Oreal, had applied any concealer, foundation, or powder. He said he never saw violence from death. Baruch also testified that he saw security video showing Heard's sister, Whitney, throwing a fake punch at Heard's face while the two waited for an elevator in the building where he and Depp and Heard lived. Can you describe um, what you saw in that video? Yes, I can. It was a video of uh, Amber and Whitney waiting uh, at the elevator a mezzanine level, coming from the garage, obviously, and uh, waiting for the elevator. And Whitney does this to Amber. Pow! And hits her, to, to, like faking, hitting her in the face. Going pow! And then they start laughing. Did Ms. Heard react at all in that video to the fake punch that you observed Whitney throw? Yeah, the, she's laughing. After doing it, they both, uh, you know, laughing at each other, with each other. Depp's attorneys argue that the sisters were practicing for a real punch to feign abuse from Depp. In a video deposition recorded February 22nd, played in court on April 18th, Depp's doctor and a nurse recalled treating the actor after ex-wife Heard allegedly threw a vodka bottle at him in 2015. 
Dr. David Kipper said he wasn't aware how Depp had been injured when cleaning his wounds in Australia, where the actor was filming the fifth installment of Pirates of the Caribbean. In July 2020, Depp accused Heard of throwing the bottle at him, which severed the top of his middle finger. Heard has denied Depp's claims, saying he may have injured his finger when he smashed the telephone. Heard's attorneys have also referred to text messages in which they say Depp acknowledges cutting the finger himself. At Kipper 7, at, at Depp 7790, there shows a text from Mr. Depp to you on March 7th, 2015. 5 p.m. and it says hi fucked man had another one i cannot live like this she is as full of shit as a christmas goose i'm done no more all capital letters three exclamation points the constant insults the demeaning belittling most heartbreaking smew that is only released from a malicious evil and vindictive cunt uh five exclamation points but you know what two question marks capital letters far more hurtful than her venomous and degrading endless quote educational ranting dot 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 re question marks is her hideously and purposefully hurtful tirades and her goddamn shocking treatment of the man she was meant to love above all dot 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 he, here's the real deal mate dot 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 her obsession with herself two question marks it is far more important dot 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 she is capital letters so fucking ambitious three exclamation points she's so desperate for success and fame dot 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 that's probably why i was acquired mate dot 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 two exclamation points although she has capitalized hammered me with what a sad old man has been i am three dot dot three dots cowan has done me the most cruel of favors dot 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 i'm so very sad dot 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 i cut the top of my middle finger off dot 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 what should i do exclamation point two question marks except of course go to a hospital dot 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 i'm so embarrassed for jumping into anything with her dot 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 capitalize fuck the world three exclamation points jd kipper added that depp told an emergency room doctor he had cut his own finger with a knife however debbie lloyd a nurse who worked with the doctor kipper testified she heard different versions of how it all happened lloyd also testified that at one point in australia she saw a bruise on Hurd's arm according to the washington post both kipper and lloyd said on april 18th that they did not witness physical abuse between the couple. After Lloyd's deposition, Cian Bet, Depp's bodyguard who still works for the actor, took the stand and described watching the demise of the couple's relationship. I noticed they went from being that loving almost like high school couple where they were very giddy towards each other, he was very happy, she was very happy, to they started to argue, said Bet was called as a witness by Depp's lawyers. Did you notice any changes in the relationship between Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd after the initial stages of them beginning to engage in a romantic relationship? I did. And would you please describe those changes that you observed? Well, I noticed they went from being that loving, almost like high school couple where they were very giddy towards each other. He was very happy. She was very happy to, they started to argue. Um, they started to argue periodically, and then the arguing uh, started to progress more and more and more. And uh, it was always taking place because, you know, Ms. Heard would start this argument. Beck said he once warned her, you can't continue. You guys are either going to kill each other or you're going to be in jail. And she responded with, I love him. I'm not going to lose him. The security guard also testified about pictures he took of Depp's injuries from alleged fights with her, including the actor's swollen and red left cheekbone that had scratches on his face. Mr. Bett, uh, what does this photograph show? It depicts a uh, swollen upper left cheekbone with uh, redness to it. Did you notice any other injuries on Mr. Depp? On that specific day, no. Later in time, did you ever notice any other injuries on Mr. Depp? I did. Can you please describe what you recall? It was around uh, December of that same year, 2015. Um, he uh, got into an argument with Ms. Hurd and she scratched him and he had injuries. Objection, uh, sustain the objection, only your observations, sir, what you saw. Yeah. Do you recognize these photographs? I do. 
And how do you recognize them? Because I took them. When did you take them? Uh, December, mid-December 15th. And why did you take these photographs? I took them to show proof that uh, he once again had injuries sustained in an altercation. In court Tuesday, April 19, Depp shared his side of the story, opening his testimony by calling Heard's Washington Post story heinous, adding, I never struck Miss Heard in any way, nor have I ever struck any woman in my life. Depp added he took the stand to prove Heard's claims have no truth to it whatsoever, and because he feels a responsibility to stand up for his children, referring to daughter Lily Rose, 22, and son, Jack, 20. Can you please tell the jury why you're here today? Um, yes, um, about six years ago, um, uh, Ms. Hurd made uh, some quite heinous and um, uh, disturbing, uh, brought these disturbing criminal um, acts um, against uh, me that uh, that were not based in any species of truth. Um, it was a, it was a complete shock uh, that it would it it just didn't need to go in that direction um, as. Nothing, nothing of the kind had ever happened, though it, it, the relationship, um, there were um, arguments and um, things of that nature, but never did I myself reach the point of um, uh, striking misheard in any way, nor have I ever struck uh, um, any woman um, in my life. And so I, <clears throat> at the time, because the news of this, uh, her accusations had uh, sort of permeated the industry and then made its way through media and social media, became quite a global um, uh, let's say quote unquote f fact, if you will. And since I knew that there was no truth to it whatsoever, I felt it my responsibility to uh, to stand up, not only for myself um, in that instance, but stand up for my children, who at the time were uh, f 14 and 16. And so they were in high school. And uh, I, I thought it was diabolical that my children would have to go to um, school and have their friends or people in the school approach them with the infamous People magazine cover with uh, uh, misheard with a, a dark bruise on her face. Um, and then it just kept um, the it kept multiplying. It, it, it just kept getting bigger and bigger. So it was my responsibility, I felt, to not only attempt to clear my name um, for the sake of, well, for many reasons, but I wanted to clear uh, my children of of this horrid thing that they were having to read about their father, that was, which was untrue. And also, after many years of being in this um, industry, 
Um, I, at the time, it was probably, I'd probably been in the industry 30 plus years, 35 years. Um, never had had any problems, anything like that. He also testified primarily about the early years of his relationship. He said there were little things though that gave him indications of a rocky relationship ahead. And within a year and a half, it was as if Heard had become another person. How would you describe the impact of these allegations at the time they were made? And Arnold, if you could please take this down. I, I've, I've, I've felt ill. I felt sick. I mean, I sick in a sense that but I there was no tr truth in it. There was no truth in it whatsoever. And the fact that it was coming down on me so hard um, and so quickly and how it, it, it gained momentum around the world. Um, and then you notice people looking at you differently. And then you notice calls stop coming from agents and producers and um, that sort of thing this was this was a this was a bef this was before in fact the me too movement had uh, had uh, come around this was a while before that so I, I couldn't have expected the Me Too movement to happen, but um, once that happened, then it, it just went into skyrocket mode. So you're, you're showered with, uh, uh, with, you know, you're, you're running between drops of <laughs> lava. You're trying to run between raindrops that are that 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 kill you um, and destroy you. So uh, I was very confused. I was I was very hurt because, um, as I said before, when you when you're in a relationship and you you do give your your truth to to intimate truths to to that person that you're with and then they start to use all that information that I, and and stretch it out into something that is completely shocking because it as I said, it, it, it just didn't, it just didn't happen. It, and so I felt like it was incredibly cruel and treachery. I felt it was treachery. It was, it, it, it was, uh, I don't know if she wanted me to just be erased or drop dead or 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 just uh, let me stick around and allow her to ruin my life for a while and um and 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 uh and uh go out of her way to shame me and um, hurt my kids and hurt people who I've known for many, many years. Um, no, it was, uh, I mean, to say that it was unfair is, 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 is about the largest understatement that I, <clears throat> I mean, it's actually the smallest understatement. I mean, the, the, 
it, 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 it controlled my every waking second from the moment that I woke up until the moment that I dropped. I had received some news that was as absurd and grotesque and cruel. Um, and then I was shown a picture of what the problem was. I had gone to Mr. Bett, and then he showed me a photograph on his telephone. What was the photograph of Mr. Depp? It was a, it was a, it was a photograph of the bed, our bed, um, and on my side of the bed, um, was human fecal matter. Um, so I understood why it wasn't a good time to go down there. Um, my initial response to that was, I mean, I laughed. I, I, there, it was so outside. It was so bizarre and so grotesque. He brought up the situation of the uh, fecal matter on the bed. And I, uh, <laughs> uh, and she just tr tried to blame it on the dogs. But why, the do didn't you, why didn't you think it could have been the dogs? The dogs were they're teacup Yorkies. They, they weigh about four pounds each. Um, the photograph that I saw, and, and, uh, I mean, I lived with those dogs for many years. Um, and so did Hilda Vargas, um, my, she's a, She's a woman who's been with me for 30 plus years, you know, from the very beginning. And she was the one who photographed it. Um, it was clear she knew the dogs as well as I did. That, that was not, none of that did not come from a dog. How did you uh, escape this altercation? After she'd made the remark about the fact that I head-butted her. But me, I know that there was no connection to her nose. No part of my body made connection to her nose or eyes or anything like that. So she said, uh, she took it away and she showed it to me. She said, way to go, Johnny, you broke my nose. You broke my nose. And I knew I hadn't. So I said, "In you go into sort of placation mode, which is, oh my God, let me see. Are you okay? What happened? Let me, let me see. And she wouldn't let me see anything. And so, I just tried to calm the situation as best I could. Um, all the while, I was waiting for her um, to dispense with that Kleenex because I didn't trust it. And then I pulled the Kleenex out of the out of the trash uh, bin, and I inspected it pretty closely, and realized that it was nail polish, it was nail varnish, or 
college. <clears throat>